am having a surgery that I've waited for for 10 years and uh, I have a significant amount of money left that I need to raise and I want everybody to be a part of this from an awareness standpoint and an educational standpoint. Um, I feel like it's part of my, it's it's a role for me and it's, it's um, in the sense that I feel like I am responsible um, for part of the community to be able to educate people about what I do because I don't feel like it's fair for people to not to come at me with questions and for me not to answer them and then get angry about people's ignorance because it's something that a lot of people don't understand and don't know about. I was always a tomboy. I was always very much, I, I identified a lot more with the male gender and I didn't realize that until I was much older. Um, and then when I got into middle school, I really, I felt like I needed to fit into a different, a, a different um, persona and I needed to be this girl and you know, date boys and, um, but there was always uh, definitely a part, I mean, there were definitely parts of my life where I blocked out that part of me that I wasn't able to understand what it was. And, and then, you know, I had an opportunity that a lot of people don't have. And I had someone ask me, you know, what pronoun I preferred and it baffled me. And I realized that I had a choice and that I could choose what I wanted to be and who I wanted to be. And uh, a weight was definitely lifted. And I have, you know, developed into who I am now. And I know that it's who I want to be for the rest of my life. It's definitely something that the best way that I can try to describe it is like when you were a kid and you were going to church or you're going to a, you know, a family event and your parents insisted like, this is what you're wearing. And you'd put it on and you would just be so uncomfortable because it wasn't you, you know, you didn't pick that. You didn't have a say in that. It was just what you were given and you didn't have a choice. Um, I am having, hopefully, um, my top surgery, which is a, basically a bilateral mastectomy. So I'm having my breasts removed um, at the end of February, on February 28th. And we're having a benefit on the 22nd to raise the rest of the money, which is about $7,500. I was 15. Um, well, crystal clear, probably more like 16, um, because it was still very new and it was very scary in a lot of ways. And it was, um, you know, it was something that I was still in such a transition that I needed to, I had, I had to explain it to all of my friends and I needed to explain it to my family and, you know, my teachers and you know, luckily I come from a community that is very accepting, but even just 10 years ago when I was in high school, um, it was still, it wasn't necessarily taboo, but it was still something that was not very common. And, you know, I look at today and a lot of the younger people that I went to high school with that have come out and, you know, are on hormone therapy. And, you know, it's like, it's just, it's beautiful to me that I, I feel like I, I was in this position that broke down a barrier for a lot of people that I knew and it opened a door for them, which I can't take full responsibility for obviously, but people were not always going to get it and people were not always going to understand. And it was something that for a long time I really needed people to understand because I was still figuring out what I was doing and who I wanted to be. And after a while, I, I, you know, became much more understanding because I realized that I had taken on something that was going to be a process for everybody and not just for me.
I, I, I love my body and I love who I am and I feel like I'm absolutely blessed to have what I have and be who I am. But this is a, a step that I feel will be a huge stepping stone in me being able to be who I should have been from the beginning. It's not necessarily about the money because I, uh, I feel like this is something that can benefit a lot of people as far as opening the door to what what this world is and what I do and why we do it and um, how trying to explain, you know, what it's like to be in a body you don't understand and what it's like to feel like you got put in a situation that you can't change, which you can, and that's what I'm doing.